y'all. Welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. This is the third video in this series on lab techniques. All of the important lab techniques that you need to know to be successful in the chemistry lab. We've already talked about the parts of the Bunsen burner. We've already talked about how to light the Bunsen burner. So if you've missed that, make sure and catch those videos. That needs to come before this next lesson. This lesson is which part of the flame is the hottest? There is a hottest part of the flame and we need to know where that is. Again, I'm gonna ask you to sketch the flame. I'm also going to ask you to time. You're gonna need a timer, something to jot down the times with. So make sure you go get those supplies, meet me right back and let's get started. Okay, for this lab, I want you to form a hypothesis. I want you to predict where you think the hottest part of the flame is. The base of the flame, the inner cone, or the outer cone. I want you to do this before continuing on in the video. Okay, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna test your hypothesis. So make sure you have a timing device. Your phone will work fine. We're gonna record the time in seconds that it takes for the pin to glow red in the three areas of the flame. Base of the flame, tip of the inner cone, tip of the outer cone. Make sure you're jotting these numbers down. It would even be best if you made an actual data table. I'm going to put a straight pin into the flame. I'm going to put it into the three different zones. I'm going to put it into the um, base, the tip of the inner cone, and the tip of the outer cone. You're going to need a timing device at home so that you can see how long it takes to glow red. First, I'm going to do the tip of the outer cone. Start. It's red. Okay, next I'm going to do the tip of the inner cone. Start. It's red. And last, I am going to do the base of the flame. Start. At this point, you can see that it is still not red. Typically, we can leave it in here for several minutes and not become red. You may just put that it is more than two minutes. Okay, based on your data, where is the hottest region of the flame? We're gonna to move to another demonstration. Observe the match that's placed in the base of the flame. Okay, in this next step, we're gonna use this match and I'm going to use a bobby pin. I realize in the lab it says straight pin, but I'm gonna use a bobby pin. And I'm gonna put it in so my bobby pin works as a holder. I'm gonna put that in the, the barrel of the Bunsen burner. I'm gonna to try to make sure the match is in the very center of the barrel. And then I'm gonna light the Bunsen burner. Okay, and let me show you the match up close so you can see what the final result was. Why do we think that happened? Describe what happens to the match. What does this suggest to you about the base of the flame? Does this match your data you collected for the metal pin? Y'all, that match in the flame, that was pretty cool, right? Who knew that a flame had different temperatures throughout? Now you know where the hottest part of the flame is. We will always, always use that roaring blue flame in chemistry. And you are always, when you're gonna heat things up, going to use that hottest part of the flame. So don't forget that. You will use that every single time you light a Bunsen burner from now until the end of class. Stay tuned. We're through with the Bunsen burner. We're gonna move on to some other techniques like temperature change to see if the chemical reaction is occurring. That's what's coming next. Until next time, bye y'all.